hello everyone hello 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 and welcome back to my youtube channel oh my god it's been ages that i've sat down and actually made a sit down video and you know new year new dummy coming coming back <laughs> And being serious anyway um, welcome back to my youtube channel if you know you're new here my name is dami the chat is scientist i am a scientist i love to chat i love to vlog and i said to put everything in one channel and yeah that's me i hope you know you're having an amazing day i hope you, you i hope you had the best christmas and i hope you're having the best year today is just the second day of 2023 and i'm excited i hope you're excited as well so today <laughs> i i have brought together i've put together a whole list and you know what i've been doing since the beginning of this year i've been putting things just in my notes like okay what lessons have i learned this year and you know like how to just improve myself so i decided to share that list with you and I think it's a good thing because I'm your, you know, I'm that sister you have that doesn't want you to make the same mistake that they've made. Or I, I just want you to learn from their mistakes. I'm sure a lot of you have this on your list already. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this video. So if you know you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. See, I know I said it last year that okay, I'm going to be serious with YouTube, but this is this year. I'll be so serious with YouTube. You guys will be begging me. Anyway, <laughs> even though you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Please share with your friends. Share with your loved. Share with your loved ones. And if you, you know, if you have any tips, like you know, in me, I've just written down things that you know I want to imbibe into my life I, I, what i have been doing and what i want to continue doing so if you have any advice please leave it in the comment section you know it's always it is a chat a conversation that we usually have so yeah let's get right into this video so the first thing i have on my list is to firmly shut doors i know like this is quite difficult because some people don't know how to draw healthy boundaries but for me i've learned how to draw healthy healthy boundaries it's quite difficult but i had to like work on it so you have to know when to shut doors you need to know okay this this thing or this place or this person is not good for me <laughs> so i need to let them go because if i stay it's gonna end the world premium tears so you have to know when to walk away from situations you need to know when to say okay i'm giving it my all and you know it was i've done what i could do and it's fine and the thing about life is that it's fine do you understand like you don't need to beat yourself up about it so you need to know when to firmly shut the door and when you shut the door keep the door shut mm -hmm. <laughs> don't say okay let me go and peep and say is this the can you open small leave it short <laughs> another thing that you know i want you to carry on with you this year is as i mentioned earlier setting healthy boundaries as adults you have to set boundaries even as children you have to set boundaries so imagine like you know a child you want to touch your child's hair don't touch my hair that is a child telling you something so imagine you being an adult and not setting healthy boundaries you need to so even in my life if, with my siblings with my parents with myself <laughs> with my best friends like with everyone around me i set healthy boundaries and i make sure that they set healthy boundaries as well and one thing is setting healthy boundaries does not mean you be a toxic narcissist because <laughs> so people might be like oh this is my boundary da, 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 da. you don't have to be rude you don't have to be nasty you don't have to be disrespectful about the boundaries that you are setting eh? <laughs> so you have to be you know you have to set those boundaries but also respect people like in the same way the same way if someone sets a boundary for you you have to respect that so you cannot be there like oh she doesn't let me come to her house very da, 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 because she set that boundary <laughs> say so, oh um she doesn't text me as much because she set that boundary so you can like oh maybe i think one that i had to set this year was financially as well like you know because i'm a very very giving person so i had to set boundaries for myself like okay dami this is how much you should give out this is how much you shouldn't give out because if you give out more than it's going to hurt you so i had to set those boundaries myself and i had to make sure people compile hey i had to make sure people complied <laughs> with my boundary so yeah you have to set those boundaries yourself if you don't set your boundaries people will set boundaries for you and you'll be miserable so you, you can't be miserable it's your life you are the main character of your life so you set the boundaries other people will listen to you mm? want to go is that what they say i think it will say eh? kanji kanji go <laughs> i hope you understand let's go to the next one <laughs> so the next on my list is to travel 
you guys you cannot expand your mind if you're just in one place that's one thing that you know i've always known that because like i was brought up with a family that used to travel like you know i don't mean travel abroad or anywhere but like we used to travel like different states i know we're even traveling my dad would make us write like you know um essays about where we're going to what we saw on the road things like that so i've always learned like i've always loved traveling but then when you get older when you have so many responsibilities it kind of falls to the back burner so you need to travel you need to expand your mind you need to learn about you know different cultures different religions different people you have to open up your mind so if you don't travel you would not do that so this year travel even if it's even if it's a neighboring city you go to i promise you it's going to it's going to change your view of how you think life is so you definitely need to do that okay next one is seek therapy so i know like in the black community like talking about you know mental health or taking care of your mental health is something that we don't like to talk about or even say oh i'm seeing a therapist is like huh Either Chris, are you crazy? Are you all right? <laughs> I know it's like it's a stigma to talk about, you know, seeking therapy, but you need to seek therapy. A lot of us are walking around with trauma, like with severe trauma. And the worst thing is people that, you know, if you have that, you're walking around and you're also impacting people's lives. So you're transferring your aggression, your trauma to other people. So you need to seek therapy. You need to be a good person. You need to be you need to be good in, with yourself first of all before you can be good with other people so you need to seek therapy like you seek therapy seek help read books that would help your mind that will help your spirit that will help your soul you need to do things that would make you like make you a better person you have to improve on your soul before you improve on your body seek therapy seek therapy you guys <laughs> and you need to learn your skills so one thing that i've always done is every year like i because i'm that person i self-reflect a lot and which can be very you know detrimental because you then think hey i haven't done anything with my life <laughs> yeah every year i try to learn a new skill i like i like to try to do something different because my mind is very active and if i'm just doing one thing every single time i'll be so bored so um i learn new skills learn something different if you want to like even learn how to trade your eyebrows learn how to trade your eyebrows if you want to learn how to wax it can just even be something my as you know as i won't call it small because it's massive it can be something that's learning how to cook a new dish that is you improving on yourself like you have to better yourself you have to enrich your soul so yeah like learn absolutely please learn a new skill and most importantly step out of your comfort zone so we have our comfort zone even me i have my own comfort zone as well but you need to step out of your comfort zone you know i saw this um quote i think i saw was he on instagram or somewhere it was years ago but like if you are the most intelligent person in a space you're actually dumb and that is so true so always you know step out of your comfort zone learn different things you know try to learn from people you don't know everything like you are not only knowest <laughs> you do not know everything you have to learn from people you have to step out of your comfort zone you have to open yourself for adventure for new experiences and most importantly you have to big up yourself see one thing that i realized this year it was a big realization for me because i had like major life changes this year like no what am i saying this year i had major life changes last year 2022 that was a year of god's you know favor and blessing and the universe shining on me moments but there was like i had there's so many situations that happened to me that you know damn of 2020 would not even envision that was going to happen and it was because i did not big up myself i did not believe in myself like of course i you know you think oh okay i know this i know that but you don't think oh i actually you know i have this i know have that there's so many skills that i have that i just thought were minute but then those are skills that people do not have like the majority of population don't have so that's something like you kind of like especially as a black person let's be honest like because of the way actually as a black woman because <laughs> of the way the world is set up like you kind of feel like you have to do you have to work 10 times 20 times harder than the next person for you to be recognized for you to even like see you know some kind of you know oh okay this person is actually doing something good so um 
it, it's, it's very very detrimental to your mental health because then you look at yourself and you don't think you are that person but you are that person <laughs> don't let anything tell you otherwise don't tell yourself otherwise you need to big up yourself so what i what i did last year was okay i sat down the skills that i've had the the things that i've taught myself self-taught myself all of that put it together and i was like okay that means this is these are things that i need to you know shout I, I don't need to shout about it but i need to put them on my cv i need to let people know that I actually know these things because people are not in your head they don't know what you're going through they don't know if you have any skill if you don't open your mouth people would not know what you are about and that's just the truth that's the gasket of it like if you do not tell people what you're about then how do you expect them to know what you're about like they don't read minds unfortunately so you have to big up yourself mm? I know it can be quite difficult because we're brought up in a culture, especially as a Nigerian. Like, I know people think, oh, Nigerians are loud, yeah, whatever. But the kind of, like, upbringing I have, like, my family is, like, extremely humble. Like, we, like, I wasn't brought up to, oh, shout about my achievements or anything. And actually, like, if you were a nerd, like, I was, like, a capital nerd growing up. <laughs> if you were a nerd, uh, most people just think, oh, you're bragging because you're, there, you're bragging, you're bragging, you're bragging see it's not bragging it's you it's you it's you acknowledging what you have and you need to the people that the people that brag about what they've accomplished right of course you're not brought in a boastful way or whatever but people that brag like quote unquote brag about their accomplishment are people that actually get stuff they're the ones that get promotions the ones that actually are confident because it's it's all about confidence if you're confident in yourself you're confident in your skills people will see that confidence and they want that confidence but then if you for example if you know how to do something and you're just shy in the background i don't want people to know i can do it you're just going to stay there forever so big up yourself hmm? Be what did Auntie Dami say? Big up yourself. <laughs> okay, next one. So the next one on my list is to check your cycle. So what friends do you have? Do you lift each other up? Do you like what kind of friendships do you have? So one thing that you know, you know, people are always talking about. Oh, end of the year, I will cut. Let me wait. Let me get my scissors. <laughs> You guys, I'm so petty, but you know, every end of the year, anytime I open Instagram or TikTok, <laughs> cut them off, cut, 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 cut them off. And it's funny, cut them off, cut them off. What is wrong with people? And you have to calm down. <laughs> He needs to be coming down. Of course, don't cut people off. Like, of course, cut people off that are not adding anything to your life or are taking away from your life or when you're setting your boundaries, you know what to do. I won't tell you what to do. But you need to check your circle. Like, what kind of friends do you have? Are you lifting each other up? Because, you know, there are different phases of life. There are different friends that you would have. That's one thing of life. Different. The friends that I had when I was in primary school are different from the ones I had in secondary school to university to first year, second year, third year. My master's working. It, like even now, the friends I have are totally different. But I've had friends that have been consistent. I've had friends that have, I've had friends for over fifteen years. In fact, what am I even saying? Close to twenty years. I have friends that we've been friends for like close to twenty years, and we're still on that same friendship. So you need to check your circle. Like, are people, are the people in your circle, are they elevating you? Are you elevating each other? So like, me and my friends, we actually do like checks with each other. Okay, are you okay? What are your plans? Like, because for me, I want all of us to build, to grow together. I will feel more satisfaction when they get like you know when they get more than me, because I just feel like everyone's journey is different. So I want my friends to progress so i always like you know push my friends because they also push me one thing about you know friendship is it's like resting on each other so it cannot be you lean on me lean on me press me die but like you lean on each other when you need to so i know like the friends i have in my corner they push me they know when i'm slacking they know when that means to step up the same way you should be able to do that for your friends as well so check your circle you cannot be in you cannot have friends that for example never support your business like you have a business that say they can never support you so that, that's not your friend that's on your acquaintance so, so it's also about you know setting those boundaries knowing who belongs to friendship group who belongs to acquaintance who belongs to we just know each other who belongs to close friends you need to set those boundaries for yourself so that you are not hurt if things happen and you're like oh my god my friend betrayed me but was that person ever your friend so you need to check your circle hmm? check your circle most importantly you need to breathe you need to relax you need to calm down it's easier said than done this one but you need to breathe like i cannot overemphasize the importance of breathing because 
life can be coming at you buzz 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 and you can be overwhelmed and it's okay to be overwhelmed if you're not overwhelmed you're not a human being <laughs> like it's okay to be overwhelmed but that's when you need to breathe you need to calm down you need to slow your pace you need to say okay what are, what are my battles now what am i fighting what do i need to fight tomorrow what am i what am i fighting next tomorrow <laughs> you need to slow down breathe catch your breath then you start again so you falling down does not mean that you stay on the floor you get up and that's just what life is all about um, you know if you suffer with depression it's totally different because you see life totally different but like you need to be able to understand that life is not going to stop for you to breathe you need to, you yourself you need to breathe <laughs> you need to say okay i need to breathe damn it time for me to take a breather and you do it so you you're living life at your own pace breathe take a break if you need to detach from people do that but then you know you 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 owe people explanations so don't say oh i don't owe anybody anything you do so <laughs> treat people with respect or breathe hmm? one go breathe. another thing is also you know improving on yourself so for example um if you want to go to the gym be consistent if you want to eat healthy be consistent one thing i will advise you is to eat more greens eat more vegetable <laughs> eat things that would you know that will nurture your mind nurture your soul in fact eat things that will make you happy but eat things that will make you healthy you understand what i mean because your health is the most important thing we cannot come to this life and just go quick quick so you need to, you need to be healthy like the little things that you can do because obviously your health is not in your hands like you can't say oh i don't want to have cancer like you, there's some things that you know you would never ever think of and that's absolutely fine but you owe yourself that responsibility to take care of yourself take care of the vessel that your soul is in i always say this i don't know if you've been watching my channel for the past years i always talk about like your body is like a vessel that is carrying your soul and that's one thing that i've always like looked at it as so even if you're slim even if you're fat more you're fat less more you're slim it's your soul that is important but you have that responsibility to take care of the body that houses your soul so please take care of your body like if you want to invest in your hair you want to invest in your skin invest in what as long as you're not bleaching your skin <laughs> but see that battle i don't even fight it but you know do things that would enrich your soul that will make you feel better and if you want to bleach your skin if you think that's what you want then who am i to tell you not to do that like i, I literally can't tell you the only, the only people i can tell not to do that are my siblings <laughs> so um yeah just do things that will enrich your soul but understand the reason why you're doing those things in the first instance mm? this one bar hmm, when i hit 20 last year 25 i was 20 i was 26 last year i'm 27 this year what i realized is the older you get the more you need to take supplements because <laughs> That's so like you just need to take supplements. You don't think ah I can I don't need supplements. You everyone needs supplements. I take vitamin C. I take everything. I make sure that you know I'm constantly taking vitamins and nutrients any way I can get them. One other thing I would say is be consistent in character. This one right, it's it's really helpful if you are a professional. Like even if you're not even a professional, if you're a business owner. Be consistent in your character. Let someone say, ah, that's Dami. And this is what I will get from Dami. This is Dami. And Dami, this is her values. Let people know what your values are. Let people know what you stand for. So as you're going into this new year, <laughs> new year, new you, <laughs> You need to you need to be consistent in character. You need to set you know what your values are. You can take a paper, write it down. Say okay, these are my values. These are my core values that I would not change. And you know, be consistent in character. Know what you are. Know what you are worth. And be confident in owning what you are because that is you. Nobody can change you for nothing. Okay, I'm joking, Sha. People can change you, but you should be the one that is you know saying you want to change. Hmm? So that's that's another advice do with it as you want you need to learn how to apologize see what is the worst thing is being with people that cannot apologize when they've wronged you and i know it's like an ego thing it's a pride thing it's like oh why should i apologize but you definitely need to apologize even though you wrong someone right even though your your body your soul your mind is like 
fighting you to apologize just apologize another thing is, is if someone tells you that you've offended them apologize it's so easy because you might not know that you offended someone it's happened to me as well like i don't know i've offended someone i might have said something see even this video that i'm making now i would have offended plenty of people but how would i know if you don't tell me how would i know but if you tell me i'll tell you i'm sorry because i it's not my intention to hurt you and it's not my intention to you know to make you feel upset because why would i want to make you upset so you need to learn how to apologize but you also have to know when not to apologize so this is something that i learned this year and it was one of my mentors that taught me it was, i learned it last year no not this year i keep saying this year i learned it last 2021 and 2022 is apologizing so i'm always like oh sorry 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 i had to learn to stop saying sorry 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 because it loses it loses its value if we keep saying sorry every single time another thing is for me it wasn't like i'm like it's just for me it's like oh pardon like oh pardon me but i'm always just saying sorry and it's like well, i think it was during my masters my professor was like why are you always why are you always saying you're sorry <laughs> and then it dawned on me that it was a culture thing so because like it's just a like for me it's like oh I'm, I'm, I'm my, my apologies my apologies my apologies but if you want to be a boss babe you have to stop apologizing unnecessarily so you as a woman you know like i think it was it's just because like as a woman just you, like you feel like sometimes you, you make people yeah an inconvenience sometimes and i spoke to a lot of women and actually a lot of women you just apologize in advance you're apologizing for something you, you're apologizing in advance but i've noticed that your male com counterparts don't do that and i realized that okay actually like why am i why do i keep apologizing in advance for you know something that i haven't done or something i would not do and i had to stop it so you need to you need to like if you're late to a meeting oh thank you for waiting for me my apologies for keeping you waiting but you just say oh i'm so sorry mm you don't do that <laughs> you need to go to the hospital so don't be scared of ah, i don't go to the hospital i'm scared da, da, da. go to the hospital you're here in the uk you're paying your health insurance so why are you sitting down at home you're sick you don't want to go to the hospital go to the hospital because the older you get the more problems are coming <laughs> so go to the hospital get yourself checked this one i'm even i had to learn i'm telling myself even 2023 that me go to the hospital so go to the hospital regardless of whatever you think you might face in the hospital go to the hospital mm? don't limit yourself and don't let anybody limit you you are the main character you know i said it before you're the main character of your own life don't let anyone tell you oh you can't do that oh you can't do that. oh do you think you can do that of course i can i'm never asking you i will so stop putting oh maybe i should or maybe i should i can do this i will do this like you're manifesting it there's power in the tongue like you're manifesting what you want i will do this i can do this i am definitely going to do this so don't limit yourself don't put limitations on yourself or, or don't think oh i can't do this just because or like if you don't give it a try you would never know so always try before you give up don't say don't give up in advance and don't let anybody make you give up in advance i don't even know how this is something i start to talk about but a lot of people be like oh my friend said i should your friend what <laughs> your friend he said what <laughs> your friend is telling you yeah. <laughs> do it if you feel you feel but do it hmm? as long as you're doing good things i'm not saying go and rob him people and say okay i can rob people i will kill people i do not send you that one no. i'm talking about doing good things in your life hmm? another thing is take care of your family take care of your loved ones like care for them because you know like they are getting older as well take care of your mom your dad um seeing the joy on their faces is a satisfaction for you like take care of them take care of people that have taken care of you let me not even say your mom or your dad because i know some people have deadbeat parents so take care of people that have shown you love that have shown you care take care of them and you know enjoy the time that you have with them because you know life life is fickle so take care of your family your loved ones your friends while you while you're here while you still can because why not and another thing is journal so i have my journal here and i'm going to show you my journal and i also have a gratitude jar i know i mentioned this gratitude jar last year i still have it and i'll show you both of them hold on a second i have my gratitude jar here can you see it like this oh things just flew out of it 
but i literally have like loads of notes in here negative things happen positive things happen but one thing with human beings is like you don't remember the good things that happened so for me one thing i've i like i think i said this 2020 is always writing it down and putting it in a jar and i know that okay this nothing will happen to so unless if it breaks but like it's water sila like I, it's there when i want to go read it i go and read it i'm like okay these are things for me to be grateful about because this thing happened and i did not think that god would save my life but he did and it's written down it's here and i can go back and then refresh my mind because it's so easy to you know give up hope because it's so easy to give up hope and be like oh look at what's happening to me all of that and i think is also journaling so i have two journals here and one journal is my prayer journal so i'm a christian i like to pray i like to meditate i like to reflect i have one journal that i put all of that in i also have one that is my manifestation so like things that i want things that i desire what i want in my life like where i want to see myself in the next one year two years three years i write it down i self-actualize <laughs> what i want and i feel like you should as well because like when you write things down when you put it into writing and put you see you, you put and it's not just about writing it down I write what I want and I put the steps that I need to do to accomplish that thing. And then every time I, I do a step, I go and take it. Okay, I've done this. Okay, I've done that. So you need to you need to do that as well because if you need to set goals for yourself and you need to achieve those goals. So that helps me. I don't know if it will help you, but I really, really hope it helps you as well. Next thing on my list is to save. I cannot overemphasize this. As you get older, time flies. I'm 27 in two months and when I think about it, I'm like, damn it, like, my my 20s is almost over. I'm still going to be 30. And like, when you're younger, you get, you're, because you're working, you're like, you're spending money and everything. You need to learn how to save. You need to save for your future. You need to save for if you want to buy a house, for a car, whatever. You need to learn how to save. And I promise you, if you start saving from when you're younger, it helps a lot. It, but you know what? Nothing is even not. It's not wrong if you start saving now. But I promise you, when you start saving, like you would see your goals, you achieve them faster. So set up different savings accounts. Like I, I have different savings accounts with different banks. Like you know, invest. I have investment portfolios. Like invest your money, diversify your funds. Don't put money in your account. Just be sitting down and earning what. Also have insurance have a pension i have like you know pension i have my personal pension as well like i'm always paying into it because i want to make sure that i'm financially fine and i want to retire at time i'm 50 <laughs> or even before then so you need to prepare take those steps like don't just relax and say oh i'm 21 now i don't need to think about anything you're going to be 50 someday so you need to start making those steps now like set yourself set the uh, dummy of next 30 years set her in a good place so it's your life you need to make sure that you set yourself up for greatness it's 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 even if it's five pounds you're saving every month like that is a lot if you calculate it in the next 30 years but just start saving start saving save for your future save for your house if you want to buy a house save for a mortgage save for everything and by god's grace inshallah by god's grace you're going to get everything that you want and you desire so the next thing i want to talk about is about dating hey what my eye have not seen this year <laughs> but you know last year this year what my if i want my eye i have not seen since the time i realized i like men <laughs> because hey um you need to date intentionally that's one thing i will just tell you you need to date intentionally because no matter how crazy every situation or any situation i found myself has been I've always just reminded myself, okay, that means you need to be intentional. And I know I know what I want. I have a list of what I want. I know some people say, okay, list. I don't have a list of, you must have a car, you must have a house, you must have a... No. The things on my list are things like, you know, kindness, generosity, um, humility, things like that, that, that attributes that I want in a person, like, that things that I have, right? And I want whoever I'm going to be with to have those attributes as well. Because I can't be with a stingy person. I can't be with a selfish person. Because I am I am so giving to a fault. Even like my, my family. My sister says this. She's like, 
<clears throat> Dami, you're too I'm I'm too giving to a fault. Like I would rather give than have. I don't know. It's just how I am. So like if you I'm with someone that is selfish, I cannot exist in that space. I cannot because I'm just thinking, what am I doing here? I, I don't need to be here. I cannot be with such a person. So that's why I'm, I can't be with a 50-50 person. <laughs> Let's not even start that whole conversation of, oh, okay, go 50-50. I cannot do that because I bring a hundred. I'm bringing everything that I am and I, and I have to that relationship. So you need to you need to date intentionally. Don't just give yourself to any man for free. <laughs> Don't give yourself to any man or any woman for free or anybody for free. Date with clear consciousness of what you want. And I promise you, the universe would give you what you want. Mm. <laughs> because if not, premium tears. Every day I open TikTok, I open Instagram. People are shedding tears, people are crying. My sister, my brother, my gender neutral people, date intentionally. Wanna go? Like, be inquisitive, ask questions. If you're not clear about something, ask and say, ah, this thing, no, I don't understand. You need to ask questions because you cannot be going around making assumptions. And that also buttresses into another point of mine, which is that you should be less judgmental. Like, you know, <laughs> be less judgmental. This is something that I, you know, I've had to, like, for me, I've not always been like, I used to be judgmental when I was younger, to be fair. I used to be judgmental, I used to be very judgmental. I used to judge people that used to smoke. I still judge people that smoke. So, <laughs> but it needs to be less <laughs> judgmental about people's lives, about people's relationships. Like, because you might think, oh, I can never be in that situation. Tomorrow, you are there. The next second, you are there. <laughs> so, be less judgmental. Like, you know, you, you set up what you want for your own life. Respect what people want for their own lives as well. Don't go around hating people, spreading hate, or being just a horrible person. Like, nobody wants that. Mm? And the world does not revolve around you. So, you need to realize that as well. People have their own lives. People have things that they want to do for themselves. And you need to respect that. Like, life is all about respect. If you respect people, respect people's choices, respect their decisions, respect what they want. And that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. the second to the last one that i want to say is having hobbies and self-care have hobbies have things that you say oh what is that me doing oh okay that means okay that means out hiking that means traveling that means going to a museum like have hobbies that you're doing like have develop your individuality like be comfortable with yourself be comfortable in your person be be, be comfortable with being yourself like i go i take myself out on dates like every month i must take myself out in fact most every week <laughs> i take myself out on dates and you know you have to learn about yourself like if you're saying oh you have this love language you have that love language you have to show yourself that love language because if you don't know how to express it to yourself how do you want someone else to show you your love language you need to, you need to love yourself care for yourself self-care take yourself out like feed yourself date yourself it's it's an amazing feeling mm? you, you absolutely need to do that and then the last thing this is the last thing i promise the last thing is you need to learn you need to expand your knowledge so um i know like you know me i'm very pan-african i'm very into history i'm very into you know um expanding my mind everyone needs to do that the world does not revolve around you mm? you have to learn about the past you have to learn about what is happening right now you see what's happening in different countries you have to you have to educate yourself and you have to step out of your mind and think oh this person like, you have to step out of your mind learn learn and keep learning like life is all about lessons so you have to keep learning expand your mind read books um read things like learn improve on yourself add to your soul and ladies and gentlemen that concludes the end of this segment this segment is your favorite girl dami <laughs> i really hope that you know these things i literally i had a whole list like i have things that i didn't want to talk about as well um i really hope that this would help you like it's really helped me a lot and i really hope that it helps you as well um i hope that you have an amazing fruitful 
adventure like life is an adventure and i hope you share your adventure with me let me know you know when good things happen in your life i'm going to be more consistent with youtube this year because i need to start being consistent you know, those are the things that we talked about so we need to start doing it together it's like it's it's a progress we're working together and yeah please make sure that you also patronize my businesses i have different businesses i have damika naturals which is a hair and body care products company so we make cosmetic products these patronizers i also do hair i do makeup i do different things you know what i talked about about learning different skills um if you can please support me anyway you can and please subscribe to my channel i'm trying to grow this channel and yeah let's see if we can get monetized this year <laughs> and thank you so much for watching have an amazing day i love you so much bye